Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Jim, I'm just going to rinse and stack the dishes. That doesn't sound like you. I've been house cleaning. And lately with headache and muscular aches and pains, it's been slow going. No work's easy with that discomfort. Better try and get relief. How? I'd try Doan's Pills. Good advice. That's Doan's Pills, an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today. To save money, buy Doan's big economy size. Well, be calling a hog. Only a hog would come faster. Luke, I ain't gonna hot it up twice. Coming. Coming. When he's thought sure and ready, he's coming. Ain't nothing in this house to call him away from the barn. There ain't been nothing for a long time. It ain't nothing in his life but horses. Well, it's high time. Luke. Huh? Used to be you was better mannered. Now, Myra. Used to be you'd wait to do your eating until a body had a chance to set. Well, it was you was hurrying me. Used to be you'd... You'd speak a word when you come into the house. Not just sit there, feeding your face. Hey. There ain't hardly no talk between us no more. It's that... just eating and sleeping and tending to the place. There ain't no living. Oh, Myra. There ain't no folks to visit. Ain't nothing to see but the land out there. The land's been good to us. There ain't no talk between us. I I just ain't fit for it no more. Well, Mary, Mary, you eat, you'll feel better. Luke. Go on, Mary. Go on, set and eat. Luke, I ain't got it in me to live this way no more. There, there's got to be folks around and... And trees for the wind to blow through. Luke, couldn't we go back to St. Louis? Oh, you know we can't do that. We got our stake here, Myra. We got the horses. Ah, the horses. That's what's done it. You got no mind for anything except horses. They fetch us a good living. You'd sooner be in the barn with them horses than up here with Oh, me. you ain't talking good, sir. I ain't worth talking to. But them horses is. I guess nobody's worth talking to but them horses. Except maybe... That Holland woman. Now, just hold on there. You was over there again today, wasn't you? Well, wasn't you? 
Myra, you know full well why I go there. I know you Joe don't. Joe Holland stay was home. my friend. Now it ain't easy to keep a place going when your man's been took sudden like. A widow woman needs some help. Ah. That's it. I ain't gonna stay here arguing with you. That's right. Just walk out. Walk right on back to your horses or to that woman. Don't waste no time. I with ain't me. listening no more. You ain't listening. You ain't talking. You ain't even hardly living here no more. You gentle down some. I'll be back. You ain't doing nothing for me no more. Nothing but killing me. You hear that, Loop Kirby? You ain't doing nothing but killing me. You kill me, and I'll laugh. Because you'll pay. You'll see you'll pay. I come to see the wood of Holland. Joe Holland is my husband. Who are you? Well, I, I don't expect you'd figure to see me. It's my husband you know better. Are you Luke's wife? That's what they call me. Well, it's mighty nice of you to come to call, Mrs. Kirby. It's a far drive from your place. Come in and set a spell. I ain't come to socialize. I can brew a pot of tea. I ain't coming in. Well, you ain't come all this way not even to climb down out of the wagon. I'll sit right here. Mrs. Kirby, why did you come over here? I come to see the woman my husband rides off to see. He don't come to see me, Mrs. Kirby. He's just being neighborly to Joe's memory, you might say. You might say. Mrs. Kirby. It won't do you no good to set your cap for him. I ain't setting my cap for anybody. Even after I'm gone, he won't be free. I'll be gone, but he won't be free. I'll thank you to be leaving, Mrs. Kirby. Oh, I'm going all right. But admiring Luke won't do you no good. No good at all. And now, a word to those of you who suffer from the minor pains of arthritis or rheumatism. Here's how you can start getting relief within 30 seconds. Use mentholatum deep heat rub. The modern rub with external aspirin. External aspirin, as we call it, is methyl salicylate, an aspirin-related pain reliever that's applied externally. Thus, mentholatum deep heat rub has pain-deadening properties like aspirin, as well as the warming, soothing properties of a rub. Mentholatum deep heat rub is perfectly safe. Massage it in often. It won't upset the stomach as tablets can. You don't wait for your system to digest it to get relief. It's absorbed right into your skin. Within 30 seconds, the external aspirin and the other active ingredients of mentholatum deep heat rub start to warm and soothe. Concentrate safe temporary relief right at the painful areas. Today, get the rub with external aspirin. Greaseless, stainless, mentholatum deep heat rub. So that's the way it was, Mr. Dillon. Old Dan had to stand right there in the kitchen watching. Watching them clean the fish? Oh, he didn't care about the cleaning so much, but he wanted to see them cut them fish heads off. What for? Old Dan insisted on seeing the fish head come off and ever fish before he did. Uh-huh. Well, uh, don't you want me to tell you why, Mr. Dillon? All right, Chester, you go on. You tell me why. Why? Why? so's he'd be sure he wasn't eating a mermaid. That's not very much of a joke, Chester. 
Well, there ain't no joke about it, Mr. Dillon. Old Dan was dead All right, serious. All right, Chester. I'll take your word for it. It ain't my word. That's what talk about. It was old Dan watching them fishes. He's not that... Look, ain't that Luke Kirby's wife driving that wagon in here? Yeah, it is. Hello, Myra. Marshal, I, I want to see you. Well, sure. Ah, oh, what can I do for you? I don't want the whole town here. And... You better come on in the office. And here, I'll help you now. Thank you. There you go. Oh, uh, Chester. Yes, sir. Take care of the rig there, will you? And then you can go on down and get the mail, huh? All right, Mr. Dillon, I'll do that. Come on, Mark. on your mind. I want to tell you something about Luke, Marshal. Well, go ahead. He's going to kill me. What? He's going to what? I figured you ought to know. Well, now, just a minute, Mary. You can't be right about that. I'm right. I've known Luke for years. He, he does not the killing sort. You ain't been living with him. Well, has he harmed you? No, not yet he ain't. But he's a-going to. Well, now, don't you worry about it, Myra. I'm sure Luke won't do any such thing. But I'll have a talk with him anyway. There's nothing you can do, Marshal. Well, you must have figured I could do something if you'd come to tell me about it. I just wanted you to know. For afterward. <sighs> well, afterward's mighty late, isn't it? No, Marshal, it ain't late. You'll know what to do then. You'll know what to do, all right. Well, that doesn't make any sense, Matt. No, Kitty, it doesn't. That's just the way she said it, though. Her husband's going to kill her, but she doesn't want me to do anything about it. Till afterwards. Well, I believe I'd want you to step in a little earlier if it were me. Yeah, most people wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know Myra Kirby, but I'm sure of one thing about her. Oh, what's that? The hate she feels for her husband's a terrible thing. Yeah. I wonder how he feels about her. Well, Kitty, if Myra's right, he must be carrying around quite a hate, too. It doesn't sound like Luke Kirby. He's always seemed like such a kindly man. Yeah. Oh, well, you can ask him about it. He just came in. He's heading for the bar. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kitty. I'll, uh, I'll go talk to him. Sure. You leave a bottle, Sam. I'll be using it a while. Ah, hello, Luke. Uh, oh. Hello, Marshal. I don't see you in here very often. No, no, I, I ain't in Alton. There's times a man got to get some drinking done. Yeah. Uh, you having troubles, Luke? Well, I ain't had no sleep. I, I got a sick stud horse out there. I've been setting up with him. Mm -hmm. uh, what brought you into town? Oh, I run out of horse medicine I've been using. Hey, Marshal, you, uh, we want to have a drink? No, 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 no. Did you uh, drive in with Myra? Myra don't come to town. Uh, she was here today, Luke. She... I don't know nothing about it. She came to see me. I told you I, do, I don't know nothing about it. She told me you were having trouble, Luke. Man has trouble with his wife. It's his own business. She said she's afraid you're going to harm her. Oh, she'd be better off keeping her mouth shut. Myra said you're going to kill her, Luke. Well, she's a bigger fool than I took her for. Listen, Marshal. Marshal, man's wife, he's got to deal with her. Yeah, just so the law doesn't have to deal with you. 
figure you're trying to do me a favor. I don't want to see you in any trouble. Well, you, you can't help the trouble I'm in. And the law can't help it neither. Man's wife starts... Starts living with devils. There ain't nobody can stop it. But just don't you try to stop it for good, Luke. That's all. Well, there ain't nobody else to do it, Marshal. Ain't nobody else but me. <laughs> Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos, corn chips. It's not polite to smack your lips, but you can't help it with Fritos, corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos, corn chips. That's right, Fritos, corn chips. So crisp and light, there's contentment in every munch. Serve them at parties, as snacks, or with dips. Fritos, corn chips are so good with cold drinks, everyone will want to munch a bunch. Fritos have a flavor no other kind of chip can match. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos, corn chips. Fritos are golden chips of corn, just made to munch. Keep Fritos corn chips on hand for a between-meal treat. Tuck a bag in lunch boxes. Serve them with sandwiches, salads, or soups. Fritos corn chips are full of good, crisp flavor. Good for you, nourishment. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos, corn chips. Hello, Doc. Ah, Mac? I'm heading for some lunch. You want to come along? I'm still looking for some breakfast. <laughs> You're getting awful lazy in your old age, aren't you? Sleeping till noon? Sleeping here. That sounds like the kind of deduction you'd make. You mean you didn't sleep till noon, Doc? What's the matter then? You waiting for somebody to come along and buy your breakfast? For I'm you? waiting for a chance to eat it. I've been out to the Kirby place already this morning. No? Well, why? Myra Kirby's badly hurt. Well, what happened to her? Uh, cut on the head. Bruises. Is she going to be all right? Yeah, I think so. Could she tell you how it happened? Well, she says Luke did it to her, but I just don't know. Yeah. Well, where are you going? I'm going to see Luke Kirby. Oh, wait a minute. It won't do you any good going out there now. Why not? Luke's not there. Oh. Myra says he's off to the west buying up some horses. Be gone a few days. I'll go see him when he comes back. Are you sure you've had enough, Matt? Yeah, Kitty, I guess I have for now. Oh, I sometimes wish I could sit down and eat like a man. Two helpings of meat and three of potatoes. What's stopping you? A very important thing. It's called the waistline. Oh, come on now, Kitty. A little extra heft never hurt a woman. Oh, it hurt me in the pocket, but... Well, I'll buy the extra food Well, it's you. the extra clothes I'd have to buy I'm talking about, Matt. I settled on the second helpings, and I split out at the scene. Matt, I've been looking for you. Oh, sit down, Doc. Uh, I'm good time. You better come with me, Matt. Oh, where are you headed? Back to the Kirby place. What? Did Myra take a turn for the worse? You might call it that. She's been shot. <laughs> Doc's been in there for an awful long time, ain't he, Mr. Jones? Yeah. I wonder how she's coming along. Doc will let us know as soon as he can. Yeah, guess it will, all right. Just don't seem decent, does it, for a poor woman to get shot just a few days after she's been beat up? No, it doesn't. Matt? Oh, yeah, Doc. You better come in now. All right. Marshal. Right here, Myra. Listen close to me, Marshal. I'm listening. He done it. 
Luke's done it. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. He... He rolled off. But he done it. He killed me. Like I told you he would. He, he'll pay for it, won't he, Marshal? He'll pay. Yeah, Myra. Mm. I expect he's paying already. He'll pay. <laughs> She's gone. She never had a chance. Yeah. She didn't give herself a chance, Doc. because you're irregular? Then help yourself get back in tune with Kellogg's All Brand. You'll feel right on pitch when Kellogg's All Brand goes gently to work, relieves constipation due to lack of bulk by supplying your system with bulk-forming whole bran. Yes, a daily bowl full of Kellogg's All Brand with milk helps put you right back in tune. The natural way. The good-tasting way, too. Fact is, Kellogg's All Brand is the one brand cereal that combines proved effectiveness with appetizing taste and crispness. It never gets mushy in milk. So remember, if constipation's a problem, gentle it away, as millions do, with Kellogg's All Brand, the good food way to keep regular as clockwork. A double L hyphen B R A N. Kellogg's All Brand at your grocer's. <laughs> Mr. Dunn, you don't think Luke Kirby would have just come over here at the Holland place, do you? I don't know, Chester. I'm going to find out. Well, it looks to me like a man would like to put a lot more distance between him and the law on this. Yeah, maybe so. You stay here with the horses, will you? Yes, yeah, sir. You don't think you'll need me. Uh, inside, that is. Oh, if I do, I'll holler. Marshal Dillon. Well, come in, Marshal. Did you know that Myra Kirby's been shot? No, Marshal, I, I didn't. She's dead. Oh. She said Luke shot her. I don't hold with talking disrespectful of the dead, Marshal Dillon. But she was a mean woman. Mighty mean. You don't sound very sorry. I take no pleasure in a person's dying, Marshal. She was found down by the barn. She must have known something after all. Now, what do you mean? She wouldn't go near the barn. I figured it was because of them horses. She hated them horses. But maybe she knowed something would happen to her there. Yeah. Do you know where Luke is? I ain't seen him in a week, Marshal, and that's the truth. You don't know where he is, then? No, I don't know. But I know this, Marshal. What's that? I know if Luke did kill that woman, he was powerfully drove to it. Powerfully drove. Yeah. Miss Holland, I think maybe you're right. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Dillon. Figuring that Luke Kirby headed out this way. I don't worry about it, Chester. Oh, I ain't worried. But I will say that this ain't the prettiest camping place I ever stopped at. What's the matter? You missing your feather bed? Now, you know I ain't got no feather bed, Mr. Dillon. Well, stop complaining then and toss another log on the fire. Yes, sir. I'd still like to know, though, how come you figured Kirby'd be heading this way? 
Well, if I were in Kirby's place, I'd want to find a friend, Chester. And that horse trader is probably the only person Kirby feels safe with right now. He sure couldn't find a friend in Dodge. Yes, sir, but if he murdered his wife... Well, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Uh, I killed her all right, Marshal. Uh, hello, Luke. Come on up to the fire. Sit down and get warm. Thank you. Mr. John, he's gone. It's all right, Chester. You can have a gun, Marshal. You didn't try very hard to get away. Well, no use to it. I don't know why I headed out the first place. Except like, yeah, I guess a man just has to try. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, no use from the beginning. Myra fixed it all, just like she said. She fixed it so you'd shoot her, didn't she, Luke? Yeah, she did, Marshal. Seemed past believing, but that's what she did. How did she do it? She was in the barn, hiding. See, she... She'd never come to the barn, Marshal. Now, I thought someone after that stud horse of mine, he's worth about everything I got. I, I'd always feared somebody would steal him. Yeah. And I, I heard a noise in the stall. I'd come out with my gun. And I'd give warning. Marshal, I'd, I'd give warning twice. And then you shot? Yeah, and then I shot. And she was waiting for it, Marshal, just waiting so as I couldn't miss. Ain't nobody going to believe me, but that's the holy truth. I believe you, Luke. But we're going to have to see if the court believes you. You're going to have to come back with me. Oh, uh, come easy, Marshal. I think you got a good chance. Well... <laughs> I tell you the truth, Marshal, I, I, I don't care a whole lot. Man's wife hates him so much that she'll make him kill her. Uh, ain't much to care about. Yeah. Well, uh, you can bed down on the other side of the fire there, Luke. We'll head back at sunup. Right. Hollywood star Mona Freeman. Who feels like acting with a miserable cold? I relieve cold distress the fast way with four way cold tablets. Yes, tests of all the leading cold tablets proved four way fastest acting. Amazing four way starts in minutes to relieve muscular pains and headache, reduce fever, calm upset stomach, also overcomes irregularity. When a cold strikes, do what I do take four way cold tablets. It's the fast way to relieve nasty cold distress and feel better quickly. Four-way, only 29 cents. And now here's a message about another fine product of Grove Laboratories. Does dandruff dull your hair, leave scalp itchy? Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo and get rid of unsightly dandruff in three minutes. Three minutes with Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep embarrassing dandruff away forever. Apply Fitch before wetting hair. Rub in one minute. Add water, lather one minute. Rinse one minute. Every trace of dandruff goes down the drain. Three minutes with Fitch, unsightly dandruff's gone. Fitch can also leave your hair up to 35% brighter. Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo. Produced and directed in Hollywood by Norman MacDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark, with editorial supervision by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Lawrence Dobkin, Virginia Christine, and Gene Bates. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents another story on Gunsmoke. WBT Charlotte.